Right then, this could be six or seven video. I've come up Deer Leap Lane, quite steep it is. So I'm quite happy now to have come across the stile here. I haven't done this particular walk across and walk to another stile over there where there's cars parked, which is where I would join up with the walk going back towards Draycott's Lights to start with. Going through fields where there's normally cows, like here. Here, we'll stay up high, I think. If I go down, you've got to go up, so we'll stay up on the top route a minute. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I've not been in this field before. But this is better than, there's the, just there is a fast, narrow road. You get all sorts of vehicles going down it. And I've just really climbed up a very steep hill. And uh, I'm going to make my way across till I come to another stile to get out, to join up on a path that would take me across fields. I've done early December. I did some fields, but there's still cows out. I managed to hop into different fields or get through a field if they were up the other end. But the plan today is there, like this field, there will be no cows. And um, I will be able to walk across those lovely fields towards Draycott Slights in peace and less anxiety. Now right over there is where we're heading. There's a car, there's a little car park there. And that's where I'm going to join up this path. This road here does lead to Pretty, by the way, and it's just through the fence there, look. I thought it'd be nicer to walk on, the, on here. So I'm just doing a small video. Down there is all Ebra Gorge down there. I can still see snow. Must have been very, very cold and deep there where there's a still snow. I have seen evidence of little bits and pieces of it. Yeah, so, yeah, I've wandered in and out the gorge in the past and I've just skirted a bit of it this morning from Wookiee Hole and um, from um, Wells. It's a lovely day now. I'm glad to be on a bit of less steepness um, as I make my way gently across these beautiful fields with beautiful skies all around. Beautiful skies, everyone. These are pretty fields, ever gorge and pretty fields. Heavily populated by cattle and cows most of the year. But they give the grass a chance to recover now. But you see, they weren't... There's cow pack. There were still cows out here. Not, long, not that long ago, really, for the cow pack to still be evident like that. Because we've had, apart from that snow drift thing we had the other week, which didn't last very long, we've had relatively mild weather, really. I would I would say differently because of having to have the heating on. But look, that is that is not very old that cow pack. But I expect they got them in when that snow came. But this is the best time for me to do this particular walk here. God, I can see loads of snow. Because in a month, it's quite possible that cows will be out again. It's only got to warm up a bit. After Easter is normally a time, going into April, it's only a couple weeks away, so each time is Easter. So I've got two weeks to fit in the non-cow walks. I'm just going to zoom in over there a minute. See that white? That is, that is really 
remnants of snow to show how cold that area must be and and it's all down there near Ebra Gorge as well in the gorge and the plan is to walk back to Cheddar I've got to see how I feel I did start an hour earlier and I did want to walk from Wells and I've been in the cathedral and knit candles for the family but this is beautiful isn't it look at that scene there I'm just going to turn off in a minute take a photo I think Glastonbury tour right back there in the distance I'm videoing a bit here because I haven't actually walked across this field before I'm going to turn off now and take some photos. Every note. Right, this, this is Deer Leap Lane. Leads to Wookie Hole and that. I've just come over this stile. And another one just down there. Coming up from Ever Gorge. Cow free at the moment, but not for long. It's a lovely view here beautiful view here. There's a car park just up there. There's a car park. I mean, let's just let that car go by. Oh. There's a car park just up there. I'm going to follow a little pathway for pedestrians. But look at that view, look. We're going to we just go over to that gate a minute. I've taken some photos. I think I might have done something with groin getting over a gate then. It feels like it's out of joint. I don't know, we probably can get through this way. Let me just have a look. If we follow that path round, I don't want to do any serious hiking though up. Anyway, if we go over there, there's Crook's Peak coming into view now, look. That's the walk I've got to do this year. Beautiful view though, steep home and um, Brent, Brent Knoll, Breen Down all in view over there. Beautiful Mendip Hills in the very far distance where I like walking. And my sister Jude and Stuart have uh, walked there a lot. Yeah, I don't know what I've done. I, s I feel like I've uh, slightly put my hip out. I don't know. I feel probably better once I get walking. I've been had to climb over a few stiles. <sighs> Getting old, see? <laughs> I am. I can feel the, the strength going in many ways. I, I can actually feel that, the change. Westbury sub men dip down there, which I sometimes get off the bus and then climb up the hill down there in Cook's Fields, which I did last time. I did that. Today I've added an extra bit from Wells and Wookie Hall and Ebra Gorge. It's one of those longer walks that you can only fit in when it's light. I mean, the last bus is still six-ish, but you've got the light now. Once I get into a pace in a minute, I'll be all right. I mean, I've done a lot of hill climbing. I mean, I've climbed right up out of the, the gorge there. This is a place a lot of people come and park, have a picnic. I think there's benches and stuff up here and chairs. And then they go for a, like a circular walk. Maybe walk to Pretty and have a pub lunch and back. There's lots of little walks. Or you can just come and sit in your car and enjoy the view. All right, I'm going to turn off now.
video will be very windy, just to warn you. It's high up, there's lots of thermals up here. Um, so I'm just going for a little walk around. Just sat down and had a warm drink of water and a packet of cheeselets. And uh, I've walked up from down that humpy bumpy ground before and now right down the bottom. That is really difficult, that is. In fact, the last time I came, I think I came across a field there and then up and down the humpy bumpy. Uh, full of ticks in the summer. I'll just do a little bit of this walk. I'm um, going to walk along this little track until I get to wall up there with a stile and I should climb over that that stile there that stone stile and then go along there along that way and back across the pretty fields towards Draycott Slights So it should be pretty straightforward. I'm not expecting to see any cows except for Draycott Slights, where they normally always have a small herd there. They normally always seem to have a small herd there. Now, I've been really hot. When I was climbing up through the gorge a minute ago, Ever Gorge, I was baking, absolutely baking. But now I'm probably, when I finish doing this little video, I'm probably going to, what am I gonna do? I'm going to um, do my zip up. This, this is why you've got to come out prepared because although it's, see there is a cow over there, I can see one. Though it's um, warm, in woods and things like that up here you're very exposed here yeah, there's a cow behind that tree it's beautiful scenery though isn't it here beautiful scenery Brent Knoll right in the distance there right over and out for a minute 